Morning, guys. Hey, how are you? I'm doing all right. I remember you from before. Yes, sir. I didn't get to apologize to you for that time. I'm sorry I yelled at you. That's all right. You know, I mean, it is a church and property, so I was just, with the whole COVID thing, you guys just walking out, I'm like, wait, what's going on here? Sure. But what what are you guys here for? I mean, um, I just, I'm in the back recording, so. I, I dropped some uh, some papers off. I think it was just an order where the uh, the court was just requesting or demanding, however you want to view it, that okay. you guys get an attorney, and, uh, and, and that way you can report to the court. Okay. So. You guys are all together here? Yes. Can I know your name? Jeff. Jeff, okay. Yes. You don't have to give me your last name. I'm just telling you guys on a personal note. The world is going crazy right now. Things are crazy, right? Sure. And the reason we're being attacked, I don't understand it all yet. But I can tell you this. We are with our sacraments, because this is a church. This is why this is a little unique on what's going on. Sure. But you as personal should check into what we do. I'm going to give you guys each a brochure. You guys sure. give me papers. I'm not taking it. You can do your serving or whatever. Sure. Under the Constitution, First Amendment, you have no right to be doing this. Sure. But I don't want you guys as a person, you, you know, a person to see me as like a, a threat or anything. This is what I want to give you guys. Absolutely. And you personally, I'm telling you guys, check it out. Reason why. They just did clinical trials in Ecuador. Over 500 people in a, in a hospital, doctors, and they've, and they're getting rid of the COVID. Three or four days. I don't know all this scientific stuff. I'm just a guy that was sick. I had MRSA about 12 years ago. And I cured it by taking these sacraments. I found out about it online, did the same thing. And then we started the church because we've seen how it works and I've spread it to people with HIV and stuff. I've spread the word of it. People decide what they want to do. Sure. I don't force anything on anyone. So for people to be, put, be this all being served to us, bud, you know what it's saying is it's saying that my, my sacrament is a drug that's very offensive. And we're not gotcha. trying to take the defense and go against the individuals that are coming at this, the attorneys, even the even. I don't want to go against anyone. Sure. Okay? We are a church, and we're just staying separate. We're letting the Lord guide us. I, on your personal levels, you guys check this out. Absolutely. You probably might even know people that are sick. You know? I don't know. Yeah. There's, there's many sick illnesses, and this is just basically something that's detoxing, cleaning their, killing their body out. Okay. So I would say that you guys, when you do go, even the people that are sending you this, if they haven't checked it out on their personal level, you guys should. You know, because this this is something that God's given me, and then and then after that, it's the the Constitution that protects us for it. Like I said, what what I did was yelling and stuff. People with guns coming up and stuff. With I didn't see your badge at the moment, the cars and stuff, and I'm like, wait, what's going on here? People don't like us sometimes, right? So, I know you guys are doing your job. I got a state. I got a state to you guys that whatever you try to serve here is not taken and served sure. because we don't accept it. Because as a church, we get to reject that as is. And however, you guys come back and stuff. If you guys need to talk to me on a, on a personal level, you guys let me know. You, pro you guys are recording this to show your people. I don't care. We're, we're we've never hidden anything. If you look at our record as a church, we've had ten years. Sure. We've never we've never had any problems. We're peaceful people. Okay. And hey, JD, come here. I want you guys to meet my son. He come here. He's like, he's like, he might be the next marshal or something. You never know. Because he's like, hey, these guys, look at. He's always excited about people like with guns and badges and things right. like that. You have kids? Absolutely. My kids aren't vaccinated. No never will I vaccinate the kids. If you see what's in vaccines, it causes problems. Sure. You should check that out too. Okay. And and you know. Like I said, we're all people here, and there's going to come a time you guys are going to have to make a decision, either to go evil or go good. And and right now, we're on that side of God. We're waiting to see more people like yourselves, you know, hey, make good decisions. You know, I respect that you guys come in a little bit more chill. The other day, they showed up at the sheriff's, but that was very respectful that they called them ahead of time. So, you guys coming from Miami? I'm the sheriff here today. No. Oh, you're the sheriff, sir? You from here? What's your name? Oh, how you doing, bud? My name's Jonathan. And, you know, it was a little nerve-wracking that day. I'm sorry if I was like that either. But I appreciate you guys doing the same thing again. And you guys, in your own personal lives, will see this. This is coming out soon enough. When the president talked about disinfectant, that's what he's talking about. And a disinfectant doesn't mean something that is, is bad for you, okay? It means it can be a cleanser. So, there's a little something you guys can show your attorneys and the, and the judge anyway. And tell them... 
that God loves all of us. He's given us an opportunity to come back to him. Christ is coming soon. The time is at the end. You know, whether you want to believe it or not, you're going to see this, and then you're going to remember this. Absolutely. That's why I'm, I apologize for my attitude the other day, no and I, I won't do that again, even if you guys come with other things or other ways of doing things. Okay. Paul and them were taken to prison in the Bible. Christ was crucified for, for us. There's nothing I won't do for him. Okay. You guys I have a peaceable it. day. God Thank bless you. you. Thank you, sir. Eason, Mr. Eason, if you need anything, you let me know. All right, brother. Take care. Okay.